Hey guys, just showing you I made a couple of cleats. I went ahead and uh, I made full length cleats for the back of the cabinet. You can see there these cleats are long enough. They will extend from the top of those bottom supports down there. If you take a look, that's where the back of the cabinet is going to rest, right, right against those supports that we installed on the bottom. And these cleats are going to rest against those and give a three quarter inch reveal all the way up. And they're going to go, let me back up on my zoom here. They're going to go from the bottom all the way up the cabinet and leave a three quarter inch reveal when you get to the top. As you can see, I cut them just short enough that they'd fit under that top cleat there, but we're going to have to chop about a quarter inch off of those because they're not leaving enough reveal. There's only half an inch there. And we're also going to have to chop about a quarter inch or so off of these that come down at an angle supporting that uh, speaker panel. But once we do, these will fit right in place on each side and they'll leave a three quarter inch reveal. And uh, I made these cleats out of a piece of board like that right there. <coughs> it's supposed to be uh, I think that's a one by three, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like three quarter inch by two and a half, I think. Yeah, it's about about two and a half inch, about three quarter inch thick. It's considered a one by three basically. But uh, I took and uh, line my uh, table saw up as close as I could to the center of this board and ripped them as even as possible. I think they there might be maybe a sixteenth of an inch difference between them. Not not very much at all. Maybe a thirty second of an inch difference. But I ripped that board clean in half all the way down and just made us two nice cleats. And they're about. About an inch and a quarter, a little less than an inch and a quarter, probably about an inch and an eighth or so, maybe just just slightly more than that. But uh, plenty beefy enough to help recess the back and uh, give something for that to screw into. So that'll work out good for that. Just wanted to show you guys that while we're in the process of doing the back. Okay hey guys, we're going to take the Dremel tool and come back and uh, cut a little bit off of these. We're about a half an inch back. We need to be about three quarters of an inch. So we're going to take about an extra quarter of an inch off of here so that our new cleats can clear. And uh, well actually probably a little bit more because the width of the wood itself has to clear also. So we got to measure for the width of the cleat and uh, a three quarter inch reveal on the front. So we're going to do that on each side here. We're going to do it up on top. we got half an inch clearance up here on top. And we'll just have to cut these back maybe another quarter of an inch because we can butt the cleats up to these. But on these, the full width of the cleat and an extra quarter inch have to clear, so we'll probably have to do about two inches or so. We're going to do that with the Dremel tool. Got the Dremel tool ready over here. Hasn't hardly had any use. That is for a few years, but need to break it out and get some cut-off bits and do this. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, I started cutting the first cleat there and it's just making a little dust and since we're in the house I'm going to keep the dust level down a little bit. I've got a fiberglass cutting wheel hooked up to the Dremel tool and uh, I took the hose from the end of our uh, 12 volt home vacuum and I just uh, hooked the uh, the detachable hose where you can hook a crevice tool and all. I just got it hooked up right there and I've got it clamped to the side of the cabinet and I'm going to turn it on so it sucks most of those dust uh, particles down in there and I'm not breathing them and it's not going all over the house so that should work pretty good so it's going to be a little noisy here.
I didn't quite go all the way through the angle I have to have it at there. I'm going to try to turn the Dremel around the other way. If I can, I may have to plug it in somewhere else. I'm going to try to tear this off with these pliers. It's not quite all the way through, but I can clean it up. And there's a staple right here. And then. There we go. We left a little bit there. We can come back and clean it up here in just a second. We've got the staple out and that biggest chunk of that. It's burning on the wood a little bit, but that's, that's just what that wood does whenever you hit it with a cutting disc. clean actually. Made a little bit of a mark there and there but you're not going to see it because the cleat's going to be all the way up against it. Okay guys we got that cut. I'm just going to show you here. We've got the uh, cleat temporarily in place with some clamps. The cleat goes almost all the way up to the top there and I left a little margin for error. I cut it just a little short which doesn't matter. That is just a get a three quarter inch recess here on the front and uh, well we do have to come back and cut another quarter inch off so this is actually going to let's see this is actually going to go in probably about another quarter inch about like that so it'll probably look like that when it's done and then as you come down you see there where we cut off the excess on that cleat it's no longer in the way and kind of covers up. You just see that was just a little bit of a scuff there where I hit the inside of the plywood. It's never going to be seen. It's all going to be painted black anyway. But it leaves a three quarter inch reveal all the way down to the bottom. And when you get to the very bottom down there it meets up with that, uh, that piece of wood that holds the new bottom in. So we've got a quarter inch reveal all the way to the top. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this other side but to finish this one off we do have to cut about a quarter inch off of that right there. Okay, we're coming back now. Got our vacuum moved up to this next block. We're going to cut maybe about a little over a quarter inch off of this. And I'll just increase this so we'll have at least three quarter inch reveal there. So here we go. We've got to start the vacuum up. Okay, I cut it off just a little early. I didn't want to cut into the top panel any right here. I got a little nick right there, but that's fine. Like I said, it'll be covered by the cleat. And we want to go ahead and try to pop this out with a pair of pliers or something. Try to move our vacuum hose out of the way a little bit.
Got a little chunk of it. Might have to use our, uh, might have to use one of our uh, chisels. Finish popping it out. Coming out in chunks and pieces. Okay guys, we got that finished. You can see where we cut. We cut it a little shorter than we needed, which doesn't matter at all because the bat's going to be guided by this cleat right here. We've got it set exactly three quarters inch. We just need to cut that back enough so it would clear. So we've got probably a little closer to an inch there, but that's just fine as long as we've got three quarter inch for the cleat. And there's the other one we cut. And we got that cleat set at three quarters inch all the way down. And we can actually come back pretty soon and just pre-drill this and uh, put some wood glue and some screws in and put this cleat in place. But we want to go ahead and do the other side first and just get all the cutting done. And then we'll do all the gluing and screwing up the wood at the same time. So we've got to do that piece, cut off about a quarter inch. And we've got to cut off probably about an inch and a half off of that or so. Okay guys, we're going to try to chop off an inch and a half off this other cleat over here on this side. Going to use our Dremel tool again and get the vacuum cleaner going. our uh, chisel here and try to not part of this out so we can get the uh, cutoff wheel to go a little deeper because right now the actual Dremel tool itself is bumping against here before we get the full depth.
use our pliers a little bit because we do have one staple in there. Burns the wood a little bit there. If you lower the speed on the Dremel tool, it's supposed to kind of keep it from burning some, but to be honest, it's it's going to burn it a little bit unless you can keep it dead perpendicular on the wood, and it's just not going to happen. You're going to burn the wood just a little. There we are, got that side cut. Now all that's left is the cleat up above here. We've got to cut about maybe maybe about a quarter inch or so off of. I just want to make sure we got this about the right amount cut off of it. Let's see, this first side was about two inches. Second side here, just barely over two inches, so that's about right. Okay guys, we're going to cut the final cleat that we need to make clearance for the the cleats that will support the back. We're going to cut off just enough to almost reach this staple. There's a staple right where we really want to cut, but if we cut just close to it, we'll probably be deep enough and we may have to pull that staple out, but I don't want to cut right on it. I don't want to shoot sparks in here and cause anything to start smoldering, so here we go. Notice how we got dead right beside it. That wood was probably just very undensely grained because it just cut through it like butter. Let's see if we can pop part of it out of here. just missed the staple so we done real good staying right beside the staple. Hopefully we can just finish off with the Dremel tool just a little bit and get the rest of that out. Okay guys, we got that chunk out, we're just cleaning it up a little bit here.
Okay, we're going to see if that will leave us enough clearance. It should. If not, we'll be just having to shave a hair off of that. We'll just do a preliminary measurement. It's real close. That right there needs to be three quarters of an inch. We'll line it up at the bottom. Looks pretty close. I think we just cleared it. Should be fine. Looks like we got just a hair over three quarters of an inch, and all we need is three quarters of an inch to clear the back panel. And what we'll do when we're putting these in final adjustment is we'll put a mark exactly at three quarters of an inch up here, and then near the middle and the bottom of the cabinet, we'll, we'll clamp them into place. We'll pre-drill some holes, and then put a little wood glue in there, and then put them back on permanently, and put the screws in there, and then the back cleats will be all done.